All right, I've got a new project. Heavy duty scrub mower. I don't know if it's homemade or what, but um, it's pretty rough. I picked it up on uh, Marketplace for 50 bucks. It hasn't been running for, for years apparently, so I don't know if it's going to go or not. Briggs and Stratton 13 horsepower, battery start. Uh, there's no pull start on this one, so I've taken the battery out to charge it. It's got these handles that um, engages the belt drive on the on each wheel, so uh, you can turn it, uh, sort of drives like a bulldozer I suppose. Pull the handle and it tightens that belt and that drives it. Everything's all pretty slogged out, like it's probably going to need bushings or something in there. Uh, it's probably out of round I'd say by the look of how long that's been driving on that shaft. Exhaust is flopping about. It's got a few aftermarket additions to it. A little bungee there being used as a spring tied around the oil thing. It does have oil so that's good. Slightly over full. Now we'll nail holding the wheel on. She's a bit of a, a bit of a mess, but <laughs> possibly fixable. Place to put the positive lead on first. You're doing this sort of thing. Because if you're on here and you hit that and that's earthed, you're gonna get a bit of a spark. So positive on first. Nothing. It's not even drawing any amps. So I guess we just trace the wiring and um, goes. Alright, so that's the start of solenoid there. Try bypassing that, see what happens. Ah, yep, that's working. So it's somewhere between the key and the um, solenoid. What do we got there? Oh, yep, fuse. Aha, uh -huh. that fuse is blown. So I'll replace that and see if that helps. 20 amps. New fuse. That's not doing anything still. Oh, yep, there we go. Oh, yep, they're rusty as. Seems to work alright now. There's something going on with that key though, like it's it's sort of not engaging sometimes. Anyway, well with she's turning over, that's a good sign, so might as well uh, clean the spark plug and see if it's got a spark and then uh, maybe flush the carburetor, get all that old fuel out of there. A bit of spark there, but it's not healthy, so I'll give that a clean up. Let's try that. 
Yep, that's looking a bit better. Quite hard to see it in the sunlight, but there is a good spark there. that um, fuel bowl as well. Get the old petrol out of there. So it's had a bit of water sitting in there and uh, it's gone a bit rusty. Fresh fuel on it. goes. It sounds okay actually. Um, I see this muffler swabbling around quite a bit, so let's see if I can secure that on a bit better. Oh, that doesn't want to come off, does it? That head has been stripped, so I have to use the vice grips. If there's any oil in this uh, gearbox. No oil. Look at that. One of my little inventions, just putting a pipe in the end of a Coke bottle. It's an easy way to get some uh, oil into tricky places.
that is superb. Make short work of it. Just plows through anything up to about one inch with these. All these fox gloves are a real nuisance. They just come up everywhere. And um, if I can mow them down, it will save me a lot of time pulling them out. I guess the main thing is to get that shaft out of there. Replace the bearings or, or bushes, whatever they may be. It's definitely worth fixing. Not a bad buy for 50 bucks. Yeah, that bearing's pretty buggered. Oh, it's actually got a grease nipple in there. So I'll pull those bearings out and replace them. I think I'll just have to weld this shaft up and uh, machine it down again. Only problem is my lathe is too small for that. So uh, it'll just be a matter of building it up and then filing it down to where it should be. Anyway, that's a job for another day, but it's definitely worth doing. That needs to be pulled out and welded on too. I think that's why the grass was getting caught up because that's that's been bent and um, broken. So I'll weld that up as well where it should be. Maybe put a flap on the edge. Anyway, I'll leave it there for today and um, come back to it another day. Thanks for watching. See you next time.